You got to be like Jabez. And say, God, it's me this time. Sometimes you got to learn to be selfish. It's all, it's all right to be selfish when it comes to spiritual things. Lord, it's about me this time. Lord, I need you to do something for me. You can bless my mama while you're en route to me. You can bless my sister while you're en route to me. You can bless the church while you're en route to me. But God, when you get to me, Lord, I want you to do something that will just blow my mind. And then when he do it, you can go like the old song say, didn't he blow your mind this time? Didn't he? God want to blow your mind. He want to take you into a new dimension. He want to take you into a new level. Well, my Lord, I don't want to get too tuned up right now. Because I want to give you some nuggets, some more nuggets. Is that right to give you some more nuggets? Listen to this. Not only do you need a greater revelation, a greater determination, you have, a, you have to have a greater expectation. If you don't expect God to do nothing, then God is not going to do nothing. And don't blame God because you don't get it. Oh yeah. If you don't, if you cannot perceive it, then baby, you ain't gonna receive it. So when I expect God to do something, I begin to visualize what I want. You gotta see this thing, baby. You say you want a brand new car, then start seeing it. Look through car magazines and pull it out. Say, this is my Rolls Royce. This is my Bentley. This is my Mercedes Benz. This is my Cadillac. This is my limo. This is my boat. This is my car. This is my home. I want a moonshake driveway, and that's my home. You got to see it. Because if you don't see it, you won't get it. Hallelujah. 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 So you got to perceive it. Look at your neighbor and say, baby. Amen. They ain't trying to flirt with you. <laughs> say, baby. Amen. You got to perceive it. Because if you don't perceive it, you won't receive it. God already got it for you. Look at here. We are not people of a seen ram, apostle. But, oh, but we are people of the unseen. While people are being moved by what they see, we as saints of God move by what we see through God. The doctor said you got cancer. God said you're already healed. The bill collector is knocking on your door. Jesus said, I paid it all. How did I pay it all? Because the cattle from the thousand hills belong to me. And because I'm your daddy, whatever you have me up, just ask me for it. I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. God wants you to be financially free. If he didn't want you to be financially free, then he would have never said, I'll give you witty invention. If God wanted you to be broke, he would have had a lot of scriptures in there talking about being broke. He said, it's my will that you prosper. And be in health. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We want to shout on that prosper. But we forget the key point. 